Well, hello, everybody. Here we are in lovely Austin, Texas at the Smart Bear Austin office. And we're going to talk about their, one of the recent releases of their ALM Complete Suite uh, tool focusing on helping out the Agile world in addition to the, the usual constituency. And as always, I'm Michael Cote with Redmonk. And I've got a guest with myself. You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, Steve Miller. And uh, I run the ALM division of uh, Smart Bear in Denver. Well, you guys recently came out with a uh, new version, 9.6 of ALM Complete. And can you tell me kind of what the, the themes and the, the features in that new release were? Yeah, the, the big fo focus on that was uh, we added this new task board feature that allows uh, people that have used whiteboards for task, agile task boarding in the past to do that virtually. So it allows you to see all of your tasks in your to-do list, all of the tasks that you're working on, and then all the tasks that you've completed. And you can drag and drop those between those different areas, log time, and that kind of thing. So uh, in addition to that, we've also added a, a good number of reports around the Agile cycle. So you can do burn downs, you can do velocity, slipping tasks, those kind of things. And so, I mean, it sounds like you know, there's the, the classic, I guess they would call it an information radiator, some folks, kind of like the sticky board, the, the little notes of all the tasks that you want. And you've sort of uh, digitized that. Yeah, so. absolutely. It, a lot of times you'll walk into Agile offices you'll go to the whiteboard and they'll have all their stories on the whiteboard and they'll have little sticky notes there. So think of this as a virtual sticky note where you'll have all of your uh, stories that are there to do and then you can easily move those in progress and complete those directly virtually. Yeah, I was, I was seeing a demo of it earlier and uh, I was kind of struck by the, uh, the simplicity of it. The, the, like you said, there's yeah. just three columns, which you know, on the one hand I was thinking like, oh, don't, don't you need all different ways of sorting things? And then I was thinking, well, it would actually be really nice if you didn't have all those different ways. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really the, the nice thing about Agile is really taking a very complex problem and simplifying it so that uh, it makes it very easy for people to get in and get out and do the work. And, and then as far as the, uh, I always find the reporting part of these tools kind of interesting, especially, you know, I mean, obviously when you're doing uh, more traditional development like Waterfall, they're sort of reporting to find out how things are going and just yes. to get updates. And, I'm curious, like, when you're looking at the reporting needs of Agile people, mm -hmm. like, what, what are the report stuff that you, would that you would call Agile, if you will? Right. Uh, one of the things that, uh, that Scrum Masters absolutely uh, live upon is the burndown chart. And the burndown chart, it's really a simplistic idea, uh, is that you start at a particular date and you end at a particular date. And then it'll chart your, what your ideal progress would be along that line. All right. So if people are working on tasks related to that sprint, what they'll do is each day they'll report how many more hours they have left to do. And it'll compare those. So it's a really th easy thing to read because if the uh, remaining hours is below the ideal line, you're actually going to get done on time. If it's above, you're going to slip. Right. It's, it's one, it, I mean, a burn down chart is one of those rare moments where you want the... Uh the right side of the chart to actually be approaching zero. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Instead yeah, of absolutely. hockey sticking up, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I remember that was, that was one of the tools that, that I thought was like a, an intuitively great tool in Agile just because it immediately tells you your status. If you, and it's very simple to kind yeah. of, and of course, you know, it rests on having correct estimates and all that kind of stuff, but so does everything. <laughs> yeah, well, the great thing about that is it's, uh, it forces you to re-estimate every day, right? right? So, uh, as people work on tasks, they get to the opportunity to say, well, you know, it was originally estimated at 12 hours. I've worked two hours on it, but I still think I have 14 more hours to go. And that shows up on the chart as something that will slip, so it gives you a better idea as to how to remove those impediments. So, in, you know, in addition to those features, like what, when you guys were looking at targeting, uh, helping out Agile teams, mm -hmm. like wh what are some of the things that, that you guys have been looking at in the, in the ALM world that are sort of problems Agile teams are having that you guys are trying to address in this release? Yeah, well, the, the interesting thing is um, uh, no one does what I would call perfect Agile. Everybody uses Agile a little bit differently. And uh, there's also a large number of teams that are still using waterfall development. In fact, uh, Forrester just came out with, a, with their wave study second quarter of last year that says 35% of companies are on Agile. And that leaves 65% mm -hmm. uh, you know, that are still doing some other type of methodology. Uh, so that's kind of an interesting point, right? So one of the things that we did with ALM Complete was we allowed it to work in Agile or Waterfall. It's just basically the way you configure it to work. And uh, personally, our team has been using Agile for about four years. And um, 
the way we use Agile today is very different than the way we used it four years ago. We've learned a lot of things. We've refined our process a bit. And uh, the, the nice thing about it is that the tool has lived through that very easily. We really haven't had to change anything in the tool to adapt to the way we want Agile to work. Right. That makes sense. And so, so the last thing I'm interested in, and, and because you guys are a somewhat distributed company, mm -hmm. um, you know, one, one thing I'm always curious to see as, as Agile evolves, and, and speci especially tool suites, is how, how does the, the tool suite help distributed Agile teams? That is, teams that aren't in the same room. I mean, we, we kind of went over the, uh, the virtual uh, sticky notes and everything, right. but I'm curious what you guys have been seeing the needs are for larger Agile teams that maybe are not all in the same place. Well, that's the great thing about technology, especially uh, our tool can be used as a software as a service, which means that uh, you can purchase concurrent licenses and uh, it doesn't matter where you're at, so you get a benefit because if you have a team, let's say in Russia or India or Pakistan, they can be working on hours that you're not working on. So uh, it allows you to utilize the same licenses and you can reduce your license count by doing that. Uh, but the big advantage for distributed teams is just the ability to share that information, right. having a central repository where everybody can log into, everybody's statusing, everybody's updating their tasks, their percentage complete, that kind of thing. Everybody's uh, in tune with what's going on. Um, on our team, we have a team actually in Russia, and uh, we have one of the features of ALM Complete is the ability to have a discussion forum. So uh, at the end of their night, which is our morning, they will actually go in and post the status of what they worked on. Oh, really? Huh. And uh, we come in first thing in the morning. We know exactly what the team worked on the night before. We can go in and look at the burn downs to see how things have trended. So you know, it's really, really easy to communicate with remote teams like that. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's good. To, I, I always back when I actually did real work and programmed, like I. I, I I was hopeful that like internal blogs would serve as like that logbook uh -huh. that you would pass between people. But you know, as as with many tools, there's I, I think there's must be some magic number, maybe three or four, and like beyond that number of tools, developers just won't use it. Yeah. <laughs> and and so having having a logbook or, or whatnot built into the, the tool they're already using definitely yeah, that would be great to communicate that between shifts, if yeah. you will. Absolutely. It keeps everybody on task, everybody knows what the other person's doing. We've had We've had times where uh, someone would post into that uh, that forum, and they would describe what they worked on and what was, you know, a problem they were encountering. And a lot of times, we'll come in in the morning and we'll see something that is going to affect somebody else later down the road just because they did that posting. And uh, we'll go in and address that that impediment immediately, and uh, that will re that'll save rework time down the road. Yeah, definitely. Well, great. Well, let's uh, check out a demo of this stuff. Okay, great.